The first thing we're going to do to link Newton and Blackboard is to create the course. In this case, we're going to create the course in Newton. If you're familiar with my lab math with Pearson, it's the exact opposite. In that case, we do the class in Blackboard. But for Newton, we create a class in Newton. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take a previous class, or in this case, I'm taking the master course. I go under course settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and click copy link. I will go ahead now and go to that link. And this is my new course. So I'm going to change the name of it. And then I'm going to select Frederick Community College. I'll leave this all the same. I will change the course start and end date. And under Learning Management System, well, we're going to choose Blackboard. Click Copy. Now we're into our new course. Now this master course isn't where we're going to copy to Blackboard in case we had multiple sections wanting to use the same base master course. In my case, I only have one section, but I'm still going to go ahead and click on Add Section. And I am sure that my outline is as close to complete as possible. And I'm going to now download the Common Course Cartridge. The next thing I need to do is download that common course cartridge into Blackboard. And let's go ahead and do that. What you're going to do is in the left-hand menu, you're going to go all the way to Course Management and then Packages and Utilities, and you're going to click on Import Package slash View Logs. When you do that, you're going to click on the Import Package button. You're going to browse for that cartridge you just downloaded. We're going to select Content Areas and Content Alignments, and then hit Submit. When the process is completed, usually less than a minute, you will receive an email to say that the course has been imported. And once you refresh the page, you'll see a new edition at the bottom of your menu. When you click on that, you'll get something similar to this. Click here. You'll go ahead and click the very first item on this list, and then you'll go ahead and hit Create. Next, click Launch in New Tab, and now you'll see your section is created. Let's go back to Blackboard, and let's see, to get back out of here, let's click back here, and now we're back at the Newton coursework. Now, let's go here, and this was just to help us set things up, so let's go ahead and hide this link. We do not want students to be clicking on that link. This link is if you use tests in Newton for the Test Review Center. If you're not going to use it, if you don't use tests in Newton, you can leave this alone. What we're going to have to do, well, we'll say unfortunately, is for each one of these, we're going to click here, we're going to click Edit, and click on Enable Evaluation and however many points you want that homework set to be. I personally would have them all be worth 100. This due date, you can, if you want, put the due date in here, but quite honestly, I wouldn't bother because the homework due dates will be in Newton. And I know that if I have the same information in two places, I'm likely to forget to change one if I change the other. You hit submit. And you'll go ahead and do that for all the sections that you have. And this will seem a lot less annoying when you look at the gradebook and then see that section already there. So for the rest of the semester, you will never have to link the Newton homework grade to your Blackboard gradebook. Hooray! Now the question is, how do we get these sections in each of our weekly folders? So what we're going to do is either choose to have this whole section open the whole semester, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment, or we can move these sections into, what I do is I have a weekly assignments tab that has each week's homework assignment in it. So I would move this to this course, and I would put this into week one. Now you notice my course dates are incorrect right now, but. We'll go ahead and fix that. So then you'd hit submit, 
and it would be moved into that section. That's how I choose to do it. If instead you wanted to have a tab here that just was called Newton coursework, well, what could we do with that? You could move this entire section under course materials. If we did that, if we then went to course materials, you would see the Newton coursework. The only thing we need to make sure we do is hide this first item. To do that, for whatever reason, make unavailable doesn't seem to work, so we're gonna edit it, and we are not going to permit viewers to, users to view this content. I don't use tests, so I'm going to do the same thing for this one, and that's it. So if you choose instead under course materials to have all the homework there, they would go to course materials, Newton coursework, and their homework for each week would be listed there. So it's a little more work to set up at the beginning of the semester, but I think once it's set up, you are set in terms of grades for the entire rest of the semester. And what does it look like for students? Well, I went ahead and went into student preview mode, click on Newton coursework, click on one of the sections, and there we go. So they no longer have to jump from Blackboard into Newton. The homework is right there.